Hi, I'm Tash from Heart and Design. Thanks for coming along and learning to draw with me. I hope your journey in art is fun and therapeutic for you. Remember, there's no right or wrong in art and I'm just giving you the tools to get you started. This is our how to draw a bumblebee sheet. You'll need a pencil, any will do, but I like an HB. You'll also need an eraser of some kind. This is your standard rubber eraser and this is a kneadable eraser, which helps just to lift pencil um, slightly. Don't forget to make sure you have a sharpener and make sure you've sharpened your pencil. Let's get started. This is the bumblebee sheet that you can find on my website. Just sharpening my pencil, sorry, in the background. I have an electric sharpener, which I can recommend if you have any kind of wrist or hand problems. Um, so these sheets are available on my website, heartanddesign.org.uk. That's spelt H-A-R-T. My camera's a little blurred today, so we'll try and get by. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I'll try and sort it out later. So basically everything we do, um, we follow the sheets, but everything we do in a drawing of any kind is always going to be made up of shapes. So um, we start with step one and we trace one, then we trace two, then we trace three. Okay, and then we have a draw on our own. And that way, we're just teaching our brain how to do it by tracing first. So we start with a bumblebee head, and really that's just an oval shape. Okay, so you're just going like that, basically. Then it's the bumblebee body around. So it's an oval with a bit of a point on. Okay, so I'll draw that over here. Let's draw the point first, it's a bit of a V and then you just go around to make your circle. The next step is number two. We don't need to redraw the head and the body part. It's just going over where I've drawn in the wings for you. And basically it's a bit like the top of a heart shape, but on its side. And don't forget, if you find it easier, you can move your sheet around. I like to keep mine straight. So basically I'll show you over here like this black like butterfly wings really but it's just my bumblebee okay step three now this is about <clears throat> finishing off with the decorations you've got all the main body so now we're just going to draw in his antennas swirly lines so you come out straight and just swirl around his face you can draw over two dots and a little smile then we've got the wings which are swirls so trace all of those get the feel for it before you try and go and do it on your own this is a difficulty level one sheet so I will be adding more and more to the website every week and they will go up in difficulty um, right so now we need to do the stripes in the body so you can first of all trace on here but I'll show you over here as well okay it's just curved lines and then we've got the little bit of dash and dashed lines to give the trail so you can practice that it's just putting your pencil down and picking it up again okay so I'll show you over here and you can go anywhere you want with it yeah just do your own little pattern of where your bumblebee has been okay so that's just me showing you apart from because you can't see very well when I do it tracing that's just me showing you um, the different parts but you won't have that um, you'll have the nice clean space so what we're going to do now is draw the whole bumblebee from the beginning to the end and then you will find there's four more videos to go with a bumblebee how to colour in coloured pencil how to colour watercolour how to colour in acrylic and how to colour with pastels so you see all those ways so whatever is your favourite way hopefully I will have added that video so I've just drawn the bumblebee head okay now I'm going to draw the body so I'm going to do first of all that pointy shape that I said about okay then we're going to come up create a body shape and come down okay could have done with going around a little bit more there that's what rubbers are for hey now I'm pressing quite hard so that you can see what I'm doing 
when you do it I really recommend that you press lightly so that you can rub out quite easily without leaving any marks right so we're still following the steps we've done those now we're going to do the wings so it's just around and down and remember press lightly because if you make a mistake you can always come back and change there we are our bumblebee's wings now it's for all the details so we'll start with the head and work my way down so we've got the antennas okay then we've got the smiley face give it a big smile then we've got the curly parts inside the wing and I'm just going around tucking it in under its own little tail okay so we're going around do the same for down here and down here there we are we're getting there he's nearly done or she right so now we're going to do some stripes on the body again as I said before they're just curved lines until you get to the bottom do as many as you want there we are I'm gonna point off that tip because that will be black anyway okay so now it's just the tail so we'll come round and you just do dashes forever you want to have imagined where your bumblebee has been now there's lots of space on the sheet to keep practicing and doing as many as you want and making it as good as you want okay you just keep going so this is um, a beginner drawing lesson for any age um, just getting you started on using line and shape to create images that we will recognize